Hey everybody, welcome back. We are fresh off our victory, or more accurately, defeat of Wing Commander 3. I think we've gotten the bad ending on all three games so far. Wing Commander 1, we got the bad ending. Wing Commander 2, we definitely got the bad ending. That game was tough. And Wing Commander 3, I thought we were doing really well, but I must have failed a mission, or mission objective, and that just set us on the path of the Kilrathi taking over Earth, and uh, us being killed. But anyway, Wing Commander 4 takes place after the good ending, good quote-unquote, in which we blow up Kilrath and basically make the Kilrathi race a, uh, a homeless race. So we'll see what happens. Wait a minute. Do window capture. Oh, oh. Where's that? Display capture. That's what we gotta do. Alright, I'm going to attempt to adjust the volume on this game. For whatever reason, the movie volume is low and the game volume is very, very high. So I'm gonna have to figure this out. Yeah, this game actually starts off with the the intro movie. There's no like main menu. Doesn't even let you save. Just that volume. I wonder if there's an internal volume adjustment in this game. Look this up. Yeah, this is the first Wing Commander game to not use DOSBox. This is actually a native uh, Windows XP. Windows XP? Maybe Windows Wing Commander? Probably XP. Cutscene volume low. Let's see. Apparently there's AC3 filter. AC3 filter. Control, but I'm checking here. No, not a nothing. Let your imagination run wild. What the hell? Control Russo's off my scope. Moving in. Nothing. Russo? It can't be. Up. You're all mine. Can't shake him. He's got blocked. Fail you need help. Goodbye. Take no prisoners. Mayday! This yeah, that's Liam Little something to remember us by. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Liam. Come on, Liam. Biting the flash pack. Yeah, so the main conflict is between the Borderlands and I guess the Confederation, with the Killrath as like a, I don't know, neutral third party. <laughs> well, I'd call that a successful test. Let's go. Yeah, the Killrath surrendered. The Killrathy surrendered for the good ending of Wing Commander Three. So this takes place right after that, or maybe ten years after that, ten years after the war.
The music is very, very epic sci-fi. shortly have an opportunity to voice your opinions of the recent horrific occurrences that have taken place near the border worlds. But before we do that, I thought it fit to invite the commander of the Strategic Readiness Agency to address the House, Admiral Tolwyn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Ladies and gentlemen oh, of the no, Great thing. Confederation Might see ya. As commander hmm, of the SRA, mind. I'm charged with many duties. Foremost of these is the protection of the frontiers of our galaxy. Unfortunately, I stand before you today with very few answers. What do you mean, few the random answers? acts of violence taking place in the border world still remain a mystery. It's renegade pirates, I tell you. No, it's worse. The border world's militia is behind it. Let me remind you Murderers. that during the long war with the Kilrathi, the border worlds were a loyal ally. And now they attack us! Let us not allow lust for revenge to cloud our thinking. We mustn't forget who our friends are. However, <laughs> we must also see this was taking place along the frontier. Now, whether or not these changes relate to the senseless acts of terrorism remains to be seen. But see to it, I will. I can promise you that. The guy's mic is not even on his face. Ridiculous. you are aware that the increase in these incidents has raised the tension between us and the border worlds to a dangerous level. But before this august body commits itself to a grave and irrevocable action, I have asked the Admiral to investigate and report back to us in two weeks. Admiral, we go with the blessing of this assembly and of every peace-loving person in the galaxy. Oh, God. Thank you, sir. In two weeks, we shall vote on war or peace. This concludes our live coverage of Admiral Hey. Uh, Blair? What's the character's name? Blair? I think it's Blair. I think his last name is Blair. Yeah, the cutscene volume is very low. drink for an old vet. You were a flyer? Oh, yeah, I flew off the TCS Liberty. Oop. Should be a uh, option here. Maybe not. Let's help him out. There we go. Uh, let's help him out. Oh. Do me a favor. <laughs> You should get out of here and get yourself a meal instead. Hey, thanks, pal. I'll do that. He's like, no, nah, I'm gonna get drunk. The freedom is eternal vigilance. Just 
ain't the same since the war ended. You got a lot of guys coming home and just not enough jobs to go around. Yeah, well, we all make our own way. You a vet? Yeah. Wait a minute. Hey, I've seen your picture before. Um, hold on. You're... Woo. That's Maniac. Wait, what, what, honey, what? I'm not waiting. Don't call me honey. These kids are all the same. <laughs> I guess women out here on the edge of nowhere can't appreciate a civilized man. Sure they do. When they meet one. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you too, Colonel. Or, or should I say farmer, Blair? Glad you could fit me into your busy schedule. It's a peaceful life. Hmm? I've always said you're either an earthworm or an eagle. So what, you must have been flying since the last since time Since you saw got you. lucky on that bombing run on Kilra? Yeah, of course I'm still flying. Yep. What else is there? Beats tromping around in fertilizer. We know maniac... Maybe tromping around in fertilizer is what I want to do. Maybe after putting my life on the line day after day for all those years, hearing the crunch my feet make on real dirt is what I want. Well, it sounds like you memorized that speech. Good for you. Man, the video is so much better than the third one. Nothing more. Anybody gonna stop this? Not my problem. Maybe you should go over and tell him who's boss, Colonel War Hero. Ain't my business. Let's be a good guy. This pisses me off. This is the way you treat all your friends. You just remember you're not my friend. Oh, that's obvious. Be lucky I don't kill you right now. Let him go. I don't see where this is your concern, mister. <laughs> I'm prepared to make it my concern. <laughs> you're gonna wish you never met me. I already do. <laughs> Personally, I can't wait until we meet again. Of course, I would have backed you up if you tried anything. Oh, you sit. Is he gone? Come on. Come on, pal. <laughs> So what was the important matter you wanted to discuss? You're getting reactivated, sir. <laughs> da, 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 da. Colonel Christopher Blair, Confederation Space Force Reserves. It's my duty to inform you, you are being recalled to active military service. That's what happens when you do too good of a Haven't job. You heard, maniac. The war is over. They sent me here to get you. Who sent you? Who said that? How should I know? Somebody high up. They don't tell majors everything, you know. And you think with all the years I put in of service, what? I'll never understand Confed Command decisions anyway. I mean, why they put an aging earthworm back in the cockpit? Why I'm not a colonel? You know, just because a guy gets lucky on one mission, happens to vanquish an enemy we've been fighting for eons. When do we leave? Leave. Oh, I, I arranged for a couple fighters. They're they're waiting in the port. Let's go. Let's go. Hola, Hefe and company. I hope everyone is doing well. Hey, Lucidius, how are you? Yeah, we're just uh, replaying the cutscene from the beginning of uh, Wing Commander 4 because it won't let you save Thank otherwise. You how to get this baby off the ground? Huh? Oh, <laughs> nice lift off uh, for a dinosaur. <laughs> but a few eons since you held a flight stick, huh, Colonel? Or did you find some sand princess to hold it for you back there? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Maniac. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, but you can't say you haven't missed my sparkling repartee just a little. Yeah, the one issue with this game is a cutscene volume. And, yes. The, uh... The actual in-game volume is pretty drastic. Alright, let's see how let's see how that is. We're scheduled to hop a shuttle at the Orlando Depot to okay. jump to Seoul. Yeah, I have to like to manually it, change it. You, let's see, is there a way to adjust take a shot at me, so here's your volume? Joystick, save settings. Your HUD will show virtual damage on both ships. First one with 
All right, let me turn it down over here. All right. Uh, I think we're going to use the keyboard. I tried using the joystick. The problem, the problem was, uh, the original games were on DOSBox, so I could map the keys pretty easily, but this one's actually a bonafide Windows game. And no matter how I map the controls, it always recognizes my joystick and auto maps things that override my actual program. So I can't actually use the joystick properly. At least not my Xbox One controller. Uh, we're good, saved. So we're gonna use uh, the, the keyboard for now. It's actually not bad. At least initially it's not bad. No time for that maniac. Let's head to Orlando. <laughs> I knew you'd never want to face the truth, farmer Blair. Holy shit! Sw switch into battle mode. I just hope the auto race thing is fast enough. You're gonna wish they were never born. Now it's reconfiguring. No. Yeah, the keyboard controls aren't bad. These guys are really fast, though. There we go. Ooh, I'm getting shot at from behind. Forgot what the key command is to match speed. Well, let's just shoot a missile. Oh, never mind. Let's head to Orlando. We got a shuttle to catch. Yeah, the keyboard controls are much nicer now. Uh, A. A for autopilot. Makes sense. Lock on. Increase our speed. Apparently there's a program you can download like AC3 filter light that will normalize the volume for the cutscenes and the game. But I think you can adjust the in-game volume once we actually get to a station. Oh wait. Blue Point need clearance. Welcome to Blue Point, gentlemen. Look at that. Look at this. Look at those rudimentary polygons. I think this was around the time that uh the original PlayStation came out, right? The OG PlayStation came out, I think, in 94 or 95. Or maybe even 93. I played through 3 and 4 with the graphics gamepad with the little plastic joystick attachment for the D-pad. It worked quite well, actually. Yeah, I really need to get an old-school graphics gamepad. Because, uh, these fancy controllers I have now don't... don't work very well. Look how low the volume is. Wish I knew. I'd love to get my hands on whoever he is. You see the movie pulled back there? You called me a hot dog, right? Well, that wasn't hot doggy maniac. That was the move of a true master. Yeah, the volume is so low. I might have to fix this after we find a save point. are so low. Alright, give me a save point so I can fix this. PS1 with end of, end of 1994. Oh, okay. Boxes were huge back then. Yeah, they were $300. Yeah, I had the OG PlayStation 1 and initially started having issues uh, reading discs, so you'd actually have to flip the console upside down. And then it eventually broke. Yeah, because the Saturn came out in 93 and was 
$400. So as soon as the PS1 came out, the Saturn dropped down to 300 as well. My friend had all the fun stuff. Everyone had that one rich friend with all the toys, right? Yeah, my rich friend had a Neo Geo. Admiral Tolwyn. Magnificent, aren't they? I bet you wish you had one of those during the war. <laughs> Would have put the fear of God into the Kilrathi. <laughs> well, carriers don't fly themselves, Admiral. Quite. It is the men, isn't it? Well, it looks like the uh, pastoral life agrees with you. <laughs> Admiral Malcolm McDowell. Yeah, I was a little more confident in the Confederation security. I, I'd walk away in an instant. Well, reports are that you ran into some trouble on your way here. Yes, sir. Law and order. Concepts that seem to be crumbling throughout the Confederation. These are transitional times, Admiral. Yes, but in the Kilrathi, we had a common enemy. It was humanity's finest hour. Now we cast about uncertain. Well, you've seen it for yourself. The wanton destruction. That's why Confed needs your services. Your experience again. Well, you know where my loyalties have always been, sir. Something we count on, Colonel. The past months now, there's been an undeclared war waged against us. Acts of terrorism, piracy, sabotage. Is it symptomatic of these transitional times, or is there something else at work here? Do you see a strategy or a design behind it? Every time I connect the dots, I'm always guided back to our longtime allies in the border worlds. And you think they've undertaken some kind of guerrilla war? Mm. Well, their relationship with Comfed has always been uneasy. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Hey, that's the name of the game, Price of Freedom. history together one that uh, I dare say has been a bit rocky in the past we have had our differences <laughs> he said the thing but there's no denying our achievements which is why I have personally reinstated you to active duty yeah my allergies are much better thanks for asking yeah your very presence in the border worlds will send a potent message to all the galaxy I am no politician sir Actions speak louder than words, Colonel. I'm not sending you there merely as a symbol. I'm putting you back in the cockpit, where you'll be reunited with an old friend. <sighs> Who? The thrill not... of battle. Oh, I was like, can't be Hobbs. Hobbs betrayed us. Ah, the the guy on the left, the far left, looks familiar. You know, you're not the only when the slick back hair. I've taken out more cats than most ships' entire attachments. Do I get the red carpet treatment? No, no. I carry my own duffel bag. I don't go schmoozing with the admiral. Admiral Tolwyn, Tolwyn. He almost looks like Chris O'Donnell. Has he said anything about me? You haven't heard? He couldn't stop talking about you, maniac. What? Well, it's classified. I mean, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I got 
clearance. I got clearance. I'll tell you about it later. Wait a minute. Wonder if Ginger Lynn makes a, a reappearance in this. There we go. Ooh, that's loud. Ooh, that's loud. Yeah, let's see if there's an in-game volume adjustment. Oh, shit. Is there no volume for this? This is weird. I don't know what happened. Maybe that wasn't supposed to have any, uh... Alright, let's find our way to, uh... A terminal so we can save first. Ison's cabin. Or what if I do... Nope. Apply control. Let's skip. It is so loud. There we go. Control parameters. I just want to save. I want to save. Where do I save? Duty roster. Save game. Test. Okay. There we go. Okay. Volume. Now, what does this control? Does this control the, uh, Oh, interesting. You can change the uh, the movie video. Ambient sounds? Hmm. Subtitles? Yes. Fast decompression? No. Black and white? Okay. That's an artistic choice, I guess. I wonder. So if I adjust the ambient volume because the cutscene volume is low. Let's save that. Uh, let me, I want to max out the desktop audio. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, let's uh, lower it. That's at five. I think that sounds all right. Should be all right. All right. Uh, small video, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Access denied. Let's do one more save just in case. All right, before we continue, I wonder, so if I Alt X out of it, let me install. Let me install this uh, AC3 filter really quick. Let's see. Deleting, renaming AC3 filter on command X also turns up movie volume. Deleting, renaming the AC3 filter folder. Maybe that. Maybe that's actually part of Win Commander Four. Let me check games. Ah, uh, Wing Commander 4, there is an AC3 filter folder. Okay, so maybe if I delete that. Uh, let me cut it and put it somewhere, just in case. I am following what someone just says I should do. <laughs> uh, copy it over to AC4. Paste that. And then back, back, back. And it says delete ac3.command filter.ax and ac3 uh, 3u command files. All right, let's try that. Cut those. Oops. Command 4. Paste it over here. Okay, let's try that. Let's see if that works. Cancel. I don't need to install that. 
Um, we'll go. Where's my display cap? All right, let's. Ooh, that is loud. That is loud. I think that's okay. 2D Ross control parameters. Yeah, there's no way to actually adjust it. All right, we'll see if that works. The ambient noises are a little loud, but uh, we'll deal with it for now. Look at killboard. All right, let's go talk to people. See if that works. <laughs> oh, it's way better. Colonel! You remember our bet? I was hoping you'd forget, Captain. I told you you weren't through with flying. You kept telling me you were done. <laughs> I'll never say never, I guess. I gotta tell you, this ship really puts the victory to shame. Looks like Confed's been taking good care of you. Yes, they've been taking care of me. It's a different task now, but that means I still need good pilots. Captain Eisen, please report to the bridge. We're getting ready to jump to the Hellespawn system, take care of a little trouble. If you take a good look around, you'll find it a lot different than your last tour of duty. The video is so much cleaner, so much cleaner. He looks very familiar. What else has he been in? Ah, he's one of those guys <laughs> that's been in a lot of things. I probably need to turn down the volume. Let me see. Let me look him up. Subtitles are kind of weird. Yeah, I, I don't think he's actually alive. I think he passed away few years back. He is played by uh, dear god this is all like Wing Commander lore <laughs> it doesn't even tell me who the uh, Wing Commander 4 let's see starring cast cast where's uh well, yeah, Jason Bernard. Uh, life and career. What did he do? Oh, he had a very long career. White Shadow, Cagney and Lacey. Days. Oh, he was he was in a soap opera, Days of Our Lives. Oh, Night Court. Night Court. He was Judge Willard. I mean, I may be showing my age, right? But if you if you ever saw Night Court, he was the other judge. That's right. I remember him from that, but he was also in like some other movies like Car Wash, War Games, Blue Thunder, a lot of guest appearances on TV shows, Starsky and Hutch, The Flash, Murder, She Wrote. Yeah. Yeah, the thing I remember him from is Night Court. All right, let me, uh, let me adjust this volume, so. I think that's better. Let me know if that's too loud. Uh, where are we going? Activate main terminal. Uh, let's save it again. What is it? The 21st? M1. Alright, let's go talk to some people. Yeah, this transition scene actually has no sound. That's really weird, right? Yeah, that's really odd. I wonder if it's a glitch. Let's talk to Vagabond. Look what the solar winds blew in. Welcome aboard, Colonel. One card draw for the next drink. <laughs> <laughs> Better luck next time. So, you still living up to that call sign of yours? Man can do okay, as long as it doesn't stay in one place too long. 
course, I had to get greedy. I stayed in the active reserve. All those monthly credits seemed like free money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who would have figured they'd actually reinstate me? I got played for a sucker. I ought to know better, right? Well, I've never seen you lose a hand when I counted, Vagabond. Speaking of which, I think I owe you a drink. Hmm. Jason Bernard was a judge in Liar Liar. Oh, yeah. He was active in Hollywood from late 60s to the night. Yeah, he had a very, very long career. Yeah. Uh, where we at? Flight control we've been to. We've talked to Vagabond. Let's go to Eisen's cabin. Well, oh, this has ambient noise. He's not there. Control. I guess we're just going. That's it? There's nowhere else to go? All right. Yeah, no sound. Yeah, no sound. All right, we'll skip it. I don't think there's any way to adjust the transitions, is there? Let's see, duty roster, no, uh, killboard control parameters, small window, subtitles, fast decompression, no, nothing. We're just stuck, We're stuck with these awkward silent movie transitions. Uh, attend mission briefing, light deck, nobody here? Nope, nothing, okay. All right, next mission. Some of these newbies rattle on about what if this happened, what if that happened. This is the brain case, I tell them. Make good use of it. Now, we're here in the Hellespont because pirates have been disrupting the trade routes in and out of the system. As yet, we don't know what their motivations are. Some of their attacks appear to be the usual attempts to confiscate supplies and weapons, yet others are simply senseless, violent acts of terrorism. Now, I want you and a wingman to escort this supply transport to the jump point, ensuring it's safe passage out of the system. Then, fly to this nav point where communications array is under construction. Now, upon your arrival, you'll relieve the patrols currently providing security in the area. Understood? Yes, sir. Well, Captain, it's great to be flying for you again. Well, the feeling's mutual. That bugs me. Mark Hamill does like the palm out and Commander Eisen does the, the actual proper salute proper-ish uh, okay let's save it and then do the mission I feel like I need to adjust the volume just a little bit more let's go nine negative nine on the gain we'll see how that works all right, let's uh, let's go fly. Maybe not. Still looks a little loud. Fourteen, maybe. Yeah, let me know how that is. My friend who was in the army for about eight years used to salute his command officers with like a boing salute. Oh, he would snap it. Yeah. <laughs> so it'd be like the... <laughs> like it's a rubber band. Nah, I never did that. I never did that. It's pretty funny though. Like my salute is so tight that it, like there's some uh <laughs> some residual energy there uh where are we going rendezvous transport escort it to the jump point and then relieve patrol around the radar array got it 
I mean, I wish this game had a third person view. That would be fun. We need assistance, Colonel. Ooh, look what I see. Let's get in there. Boom, missiles out. Ready to strut my stuff. All right. A break an attack. An open fire. Gonna give some maniac magic. Come on. So far away. So far away. Oh, maniac's gonna kill him. Yep. Okay. Now that we saved him, we, uh... You were Army or Marines? Neither. I was Air Force. Well, let's use our Afterburner. See if I can get an attack. It's kind of auto aims, doesn't it? The New York City's pirates feel very, very fast. There we go. Get him. Hey. Okay, we're good. Autobot not allowed. What are we missing? Oh, uh, oh, we had to escort the ship to the jump boy. Give me a damage report. No damage, sir. Oh, there we go. Okay, Y matches the speed of your current target. Finessing the volume here. So we're at negative a negative twelve gain. Appreciate your efforts, Colonel. Yeah. Is that it? Can we leave now? Wait, I want to see you warp. I missed it. Oh well. All right, let's go relieve this patrol. Get over there. Break formation and open fire. Gonna give some maniac magic. You in hell? Hey. Colonel, do not fire on the remaining craft. I repeat, do not fire. Give them about 12 breathing space, then tailor. Get a lock on their operation space. When you find their home position, return to the Lexington. Oh, okay. So we just follow? Look what I see. Uh... Well, hopefully Maniac doesn't <laughs> attack them. There sort of is a sound for your afterburner. There kind of is. It's very faint. Supposed to follow them, right? That is what I'm doing. Mission complete. Oh. Objective accomplished. Proceed to next waypoint. Okay. Enemy near. 
Autopilot not allowed. How is he near? He's like Heading 20. Near. Autopilot not allowed. Should I destroy him? Maybe? Enemy near. Autopilot not allowed. He's so far away. Maybe I need to be like 30. Mm. 30,000 clicks? No? Autopilot not allowed. Maybe farther? Uh. Alright, there we go. We're good. Enemy near. No? Autopilot not allowed. There we go. I think. Need clearance. Congratulations, Colonel. This game must have been so freaking cool to play when it first came out. I mean, it looks it looks so good. Uh, I'll start to cat scratch. Can I direct you somewhere, Lieutenant? Just shipped in, sir. Oh Second shit. Lieutenant Troy Carter. Call sign Cat Scratch. Now you didn't just graduate from the academy, did you? First in my class, sir. I just wish there was still some Karathi around. <laughs> I think you're a little late on that score. He was in Double Dragon. Hey, Colonel Blair, gotta ask you a question. Right, so. Can't believe my luck. Getting assigned to the same ship you're on? Oh man, wait until they hear about this back home. He was in John Wick also. Jesus, kid lays it the latest one. The bald guy. Talk to you later, Colonel. Yeah, the FMB is incredible. Are you doing a number on me? Oh no, sir. I've been dreaming of a chance like this. Stuff I could learn from you, sir. Stories you must have. What's this kid want from me? I like this kid. Oh, I've got stories, all right. The only place you learn anything is out there in the cockpit. Colonel, sir, it would be the honor of my life to fly on your wing. Hmm. We'll see, Cat Scratch. We'll see. Cat Scratch fever. Ba -da -da -da. Yes, yeah, he was in the the very very terrible Double Dragon movie. Let's save it. Ted Nugent? Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, the song? Wait, the song? Cat Scratch Fever? Was he in that? Did he really? Oh my god, it was Ted Nugent? Jesus. Wow. That was him. Oh, how things have changed. Let's get the kill board. What do we got? I got one, four kills. Stat, sick. Hippie is sick. Yeah, he's super nut job. Nobody here? What? Huh. Not a lot of uh, people to talk to in between missions. Alright. Smith West, Colonel Blair. Oh, Colonel, time to earn your pay. Yes, sir. Now, it's still not known whether these pirates are independent operators or are somehow connected to the Border World's militia. Nevertheless, we're here to put them out of business. Now, thanks to your excellent recon work, we do know the pirates base out of this frigate on the edge of the Hellespont asteroid belt. The job is simple. You and your wingman get in a pair of bombers, fly in there, and take them out. Now, I'll assign two other fighters to provide you cover. Go to it. Right away, sir. <sighs> Let's save that. Da, 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 da. 
Hey, Huff. What's up, man? How are you? Thank you for the raid. Uh, let's go to our ship, I guess. Ooh, that's a cool ship. Kind of? I can't tell if it's cool or really bad looking. <laughs> Need to use John Badly Beer back. Alright, Huff. I'll see you when you get back. Fly a longbow bomber to the frigate and have one eliminated. Most capital ships can only be destroyed with torpedoes. So I think I have to lower the shields down with my laser cannon things and then shoot a torpedo. Yeah. The volume still isn't great. Yeah. We just gotta deal with it. We just gotta deal with it. Uh, Alright, let's head over. Ooh, this bomber's way slower. Oh, there's a few bad guys. Should I help? Break off an attack. Break formation and open fire. They're gonna wish they were never born. See you in <laughs> yeah. Oh, these bombers are not. Are not very agile. <laughs> Move this cord out of the way here. There we go. All right, next waypoint. How far away? 14,000? Oh, he's, he's coming really quickly. Yeah, this <laughs> this bomber is not fast at all. I almost got you. I want that kill. I think Maniac just destroyed the frigate for me. <laughs> That's great. Oh, he did it for me. <laughs> He's so good. Alright, well, good job, Maniac. We do have it, have it on the easiest difficulty, so I think... I think that might be too easy. But I don't know. Maybe I'll bump it up. I'll bump it up, and we'll see how, we'll see how Veteran works. Yeah. I like the design of the ships in this game. Certain ships look more realistic, like they're modeled after jets and other identifiable crafts. Might just be the boxy shape of the ships. Yeah, yeah. They didn't go super, super crazy with the designs. Uh, let's request clearance. I will go check it out. Cool. Alright, so this is on Veteran now. Let's see how this goes. Colonel, this is Alpha Shuttle from the Lexington. We are clear here. Uh, no sign of the Border Worlds probe, so we don't know if they were involved. This transport was full of civilian colonists. Oh, this is from the beginning. Why would anyone do this to a bunch of civvies? We 
we've done all there is to do here. See you back at the Lexington. All right. Yeah, that was in the intro movie where they blew up the civilian transport. Or not, I guess they didn't blow up the transport, but they killed everyone inside. Biological weapon, I guess. All right, now we can, uh, who's Pharaoh? Give me a damage report. I'm picture perfect, sir. All right, let's request clearance. You have clearance, Colonel. All right. Another mission down. Uh, let's go to the officer's lounge. Hey, who's this? Nobody. Vagabond and maniac. Oh, this is going to be good. That's where you're wrong, old buddy. Well, I'm not wrong. Border world radicals. That's who's causing all this trouble. Listen to it. Maniac, the political scientist. You asked the colonel. We saw the same thing. It was a border worlder who dusted that Orlando depot. Yeah. But has it ever occurred to you, Maniac, that the border world's militia probably doesn't have the technology to do what we just saw out there? <laughs> we don't know what they've been up to since the big war. It sure ain't pirates out there carrying that kind of firepower. All I know is that the border worlds have always been Confit's stepchild. Well, they fought to kill Rothi, too. But what do they get for it? Anytime Confit needs a dumping ground for anything from toxins to uh, prisoners the border world's the place <laughs> they treat it more like a colony than a partner you know, if they are behind this maybe they've gotten that desperate for their freedom oh man i can tell now vagabond's gonna join the border the border colony border men border lands Where are we? The tier system. Okay. Try to keep track of where exactly we're at at all times. I love that this game is before 3D accelerator graphics cards, back when game design took precedent, precedent over looking pretty. Thankfully, we're getting back to design slash graphics. Really, I thought the 3D effects like voodoo cards came out around this time, but maybe not. Yeah, that's why I've kind of just <laughs> almost sworn off like AAA games. They 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 almost seem like they're designed by committee and they're always supposed to have the maximum number of features that will make you want to spend money, right? Like little microtransactions, season passes. It's just it's it's gotten too too cookie cutter. Like back in the 90s and even the 80s, like game design, like genres weren't like fully fleshed out, so we didn't have these really established uh, genres of games, right? Nowadays, like, you know, it's what? RTS, 4X, first-person shooter, third-person shooter, uh, you know, walking simulator, uh, point-and-click. Like, everything is in their own box now. And it's gotten, like, a little, a little stale, to be honest. 1999 is around when 3D cars first became mainstream. Yeah, when I saw, I think it was the original Quake... With on a voodoo card, I was like, oh, the future. <laughs> it looks so good. And the, the frame rate was so fast. I was not prepared. Yeah, how did 3DFX fuck that up? <laughs> like, now we have GeForce and uh, Radeon cards, ATI cards. Yeah, how did 3DFX mess that up? They were like the, the, uh, the leader in, in the graphic card sales. It's probably a really interesting documentary on YouTube about it. I'm going to have to go look for it. Uh, flight deck, no. Uh, let's save. This will be tier system. Uh, I guess... Mission briefing. There's really, there's nowhere else to go. You could, you've you literally got the officer's lounge and the, the mission deck. Maybe we'll get more later on. Right? No idea. People were even running 3DFX cards and SLI. Yeah, two cards, you know, SLI'd together. 
It's nuts. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it had its its own like terminology, right? Like blast processing type <laughs> terminology. Yeah, 3D effects really like shat the bed. They had it. Ah, uh, Colonel. I wish I had a little more faith in the data I'm getting from Confed Intel. We've just entered Border World Territory, a tier system. Uh, and hostage has been taken on because of the current tissue. Now, that means a ground extraction. But we have to find the hostage first, determine the best method of removal, which is where you come in. Now, Intel says the target is in this base complex on Tier 7, but we need as much recon as we can get. Now, all our fighters are equipped with a new laser recon device, far as like a gun, take pictures like a camera. Get as close as you can and record as much info as possible. Now, be sure to consult your mission notes and your nav map. They'll have a few more technical details. Any resistance expected? Well, my um, guess is they aren't going to appreciate snoops of cameras down there. Try to make it a clean operation. We're more interested in recon than kills. I'll take them. You bet, Captain. All right, this is veteran mode. Let's see how badly I do. How bad could it be? Fly to each nav point and get recon photos of each base complex. Use H to switch to laser camera. Take 10 photos at each complex. H to switch, okay. Camera. LSR. Got it. Okay. Yeah, it's still just... Hmm. What's coming up on the docket next? Uh, Wing Commander Prophecy. To finish out the, uh, the Wing Commander games. Well, the story games, right? I'm not going to play Privateer or any of the other offshoots. But uh, yeah, we'll do pri uh, we'll do prophecy after this, and then maybe we'll start off with the uh, my backlog is complete party and play some uh, Monkey Island, and also some Star Control. Uh, nice, I never played that one. Yeah, I don't think it brings back the original characters. I don't think you play or, play uh, Blair or you know Maniac Hobbs. None of the regular guys show up. I think it's a brand new cast, but no no real actors. But it's still considered, I guess, part of the storyline. Alright, I gotta go take pictures. Yeah, because Prophecy came out, I think. Let's kill some things. Uh, yeah, Prophecy came out I, uh, maybe like 10 years later, like in 2006. Hey, that wasn't too bad. I'm still on. Oh, I'm on rookie. <laughs> okay. Well, what are you gonna do? I was like, this feels really easy. Yeah, we'll save it. Switch it to a veteran. Cutscene. Cutscene. Let's see. I just switched to veteran now. Oh, maybe I have to save settings. There we go. All right, we'll see how that works. Yeah, this is pretty impressive for uh, not having any uh, 3D graphics accelerator cards at the time. What am I supposed to do? Hold on a second. Take recon photos of the planet's surface. All right, so I switched to my camera and That, I don't know if that took, I can't really tell if that worked. All right, well, let's go to the next one. We'll see if that works. 
I hit the space bar ten times. Oh, maybe I have to hit it here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Ow, ow. Maybe I was supposed to take pictures of this. Kind of feel like I was supposed to take pictures of that. Oh, no. Was that veteran mode or was that just me being stupid? On hearing the news of the colonel's death, Admiral Jeffrey Tolwyn said, He was a man I always had faith in. He was a man who defined honor and dedication. He was a man who will be deeply missed. Uh, let's replay that mission. Yeah. That's weird. Uh, let's try that again. We're on veteran. Let's go do this first fight. Let's see how it is. shoot a missile. Did that missile not hit? I don't think it did. Oh, it got him. So it's not terrible. Oh! Okay. It's kind of difficult. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll bust it back down to rookie. I think I got taken out by a single missile. He was a man I always had faith in. He was a... Yeah, let's, uh, let's replay that. It's weird the sound goes out when you replay the mission here. Alright. Let's bust that back down to rookie. Uh, save. Video mode. Save. Okay. Yeah, I'm really curious how uh, Prophecy plays compared to this one. I mean, you're talking, what, 10 years later? Brand new engine? 2007, 2008, I think the Xbox, the original Xbox and PS2 were still in vogue. Or maybe it was a 360, actually. Yeah, I think it was a 360 in the uh, PS3. Ow, 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 Jesus. Oop. Let's use a missile. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's slow down for a second. Let's look at our objectives. Interplanetary atmosphere. This freaking cat. I fed him right before I went to stream. So where are we at? Take recon photos of the planet's surface. So, three different areas? Two, three, and then exit. I mean, I don't really see any. So I guess let's switch to my camera. Oof. Yeah, I don't see any bases. So I'll do three here. Three at the next place.
Oh! So it won't let me take shots unless I'm really close up. I'm confused. I'm confused. Maybe I just have to get really close to the base to be able to take shots. I might have bounced off the planet. <laughs> that might have happened. Yeah. Alright, let's try that again. Man, what are we on? Like, mission four? We're already struggling. Okay, that's one down. Coming in hot. Yeah. Okay. There is no enemy. You're lying. Okay, we're on the planet. Hit H. Cam. I don't know if that counts. Yeah, like, it's making noises. Alright, I mean, let's go to the next spot. I guess. What if I go, like, somewhere else? <laughs> what if I, like, don't go that way? Oh no! Ow. I think I might need to... Huh? No, won't let me take any more photos. Spin around. Luckily I've got plenty of afterburner. Oh, lock on, lock on, lock on. No? No. Alright, let's get out of here. Trying to avoid missiles. Enemy near. Autopilot not allowed. I think I took it. Yeah. It's making noises. I don't... <laughs> Oh, shit. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, I don't, uh... I mean, I assume it's spacebar. Oh, come on. I might need to check this out. Hold on a second. Let me look this up. Because I don't know if I'm doing it right. Or tier system. Yeah, I'm hearing a clicking noise, but I'm not seeing like a snapshot or any sort of indication that I'm actually... This cat. This cat. It says, fly to each nav point and get recon photos of each base complex. Use H to switch the laser camera. Take 10 photos of each complex. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Recon photos. Recon on tier. Press freedom. It doesn't really say. Yeah, it doesn't really say. Uh, hold on a second. I just want to see what this guy does on his playthrough. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. 
Let's see what he does. He's not even taking photos. He's killing things. Here we go. Oh, that's a very different sound from what mine is. So what's he, what, what is he taking a snapshot of with the... F Let's see. Alright, so he lands on the planet. What? It doesn't really see like what he does to take the photo. Uh, let's look. No, nope, full playthrough. No, 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 no. Let's just look at a guide. This is silly. Yeah, I don't know what. Maybe I need to uh, to bring up the reference card. Uh, tier system. Oh, let's just take photos. Photos. No? Is this not a good guide? This is the mission tree. Uh, this is not a good guide. No. Strategy guide. Photo. Uh, 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 uh. No. Man, there is a severe lack of guides for Wing Commander. Or good guides, how about that? For guide, archive, ooh, user manual, fandom, get running guide, strategy guide. Oh god, a strategy guide? This could be painful. Cover not available. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll just give it a try. I'll try and... Maybe I'll bring up the, uh... No. Ah, uh, let's just give it a try. Let's give it a try. I'm here. Oh, and there's... So let's destroy everything first. Yeah. Oh, I guess you got take pictures of enemies. I think that's it. You gotta lock onto a, an enemy. That's what it, I think that's what it is. Maybe we'll restart, but let's see. I think that's what it is. You gotta lock onto the base and then shoot at it like it's a gun. He did mention that. Not actually gonna hit. Indicator ace. I think I got him. Nope, I didn't. Okay, now I think we can take pictures of the ground turret. If I can just spin this thing around. Nope, that didn't work. The hell? What am I supposed to take a picture of? Maybe if I destroy the ground turret first? Let's try that. This missile doesn't blow me up.
There we go. Okay, so you have to take out the enemies. And then hold on. Let me turn myself around. There we go. And take photos. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now it makes sense. Destroy enemies. Photo op. Let's get you guys out of the way first. Oop. Oop. Got to switch to my lasers. See if I can get you, match your speed. Okay. I got a lock on me, so let's take out this ground turret. Ooh. How far are you? Can I get you from here? Gotcha. Okay. Wait, is there other oh, still a missile coming after me? There we go. Okay. Slow down. Objective accomplished. There we go. Proceed to next waypoint. Did, did I get all three? Oh, I, oh, okay, this is the last one. Let's go. Yeah, I couldn't imagine doing this on Veteran. I would get destroyed so quickly. Alright, the yellows are the missiles. I just gotta be careful. Ooh, bad aiming. Gotcha. Where are you at? Right above me. Oh, I cannot catch up to you. Where are you? No All right. Huh. Oh, I gotta get outrun these missiles. Not crash into the surface of the planet. Okay, slow. Uh, there's still missiles following me, so let's just wait for those to run themselves out. One more left. Okay, slow down. About face. Switch to our camera. Oh, you can see on the right side there it says C3. There we go. Look at that, we figured it out. Yeah, there need to be some better game guides. However, I am not the person to do it. Save that. Thirty mission four tier system. Uh, flight deck, officers' lounge. Nobody here. Eisen's cabin. Volume again. Re 
back on, Dad? No, uh, nothing so interesting. <laughs> Just a trans to my grandchildren. New school year. <laughs> They're all excited. Did you want to see me about something, Colonel? Oh, yeah, sir. The uh, assignment we're undertaking. Yes, we're just about ready to make the extraction. It won't be easy. We'll discuss it at the briefing. Right now, I'm due to check in at the bridge. I'll see you in the briefing room. What is he hiding in his briefcase? Yeah, I think Wing Commander divides the missions up into like three to five missions per system, something like that, depending on if you pass or fail. Nobody here, right? Nope. They can only afford Jason Bernard. Confed has deemed this an especially critical mission. Any particular reason? Let's get down to business, shall we, Colonel? He's like, don't question me. Enemy reinforcements are headed this way, so we have to move fast. A trooper transport has just joined up with us. They'll be moving in right behind you, carrying the ground personnel who will nab the hostage. Thanks to your recon, we know just where we're going and what we're up against. The hostage is located in this structure. Now, you'll need to cover the trooper transport's descent to that location. Then make sure it gets back here in one piece. Is that clear, Colonel? Consider it done. No doke. Oh, ship. Oh, I can change my ship configuration. Look at that. I usually don't mess around with that stuff. I don't really get into the weeds of any of that configuration min maxing stuff. I think the last game I did that had that sort of a uh, mechanic was a uh, Armored Core. Oh, the original Armored Core on PlayStation. I spent hours trying different builds. Uh, that's it. Okay. Wait, what was it? Yes. Did you ever play Chrome Hounds? I did. That was on 360, right? That was a Sega game. Uh, I did, but too late. Uh, I played it maybe like a year or two after it had come out, so there was no real multiplayer. It had some really cool uh, mechanics that I thought were kind of innovative, right? Like it had the, I think it was, I guess it was like the radio towers, and if the enemy team destroyed a radio tower, you couldn't actually voice chat with your, with your squad. I always thought that was a cool feature, but no. By the time I got to playing it, uh, there was no one online. I loved Chrome Hounds. I wish someone would resurrect the game. Yeah. Yeah. They could do like a PC port, right? I think it was a 360 exclusive. You could make some obnoxious mechs. Yeah, I only ever played the single player game uh, campaign, which really wasn't all that much of a game. But uh, multiplayer sounded so cool. But I was I was late. I was late to the party. I didn't get an Xbox 360 until maybe a year, year and a half. Uh, after it came out. Uh, with a positive ID on the hostage location, escort and extraction transport to the target complex. Defend the transport during the search for the hostage. Enter. Is that, is that too loud? I guess I'll leave it like that. Maybe it's too loud. Yeah, that feels too loud. That just feels too loud. Let's just go to negative 10. I'll have to watch the, uh, the video after this just to see how the, the sounds and the volumes. Uh, okay, fly the way area. Protect the transport. Ooh, look what I see. Break an attack. 
location and open fire. Gonna give him some maniac magic. Keep thinking he's gonna say maniac mansion. Sounds pretty good to you? Okay. Waypoint. Yeah. Another planet surface thing. So I'll probably have ground turrets to destroy. Or not. Break an attack. Break formation and open fire. Gonna give him some maniac magic. Oh. There we go. Chalk up another for the maniac. <laughs> the Tom Wilson, I think is his name. He's ridiculous. Apparently he likes to joke a lot on set. Oop. Oh, almost got you. There we go. Hey, Nix, how are you? Are we, are we good? Did we do everything we're supposed to do? Uh, fly to way area. Yeah, I think. I think that's it. Hold on a second. Just double check. Owen oh, Wilson's brother, Tom. Where's my transport at? Oh, wait, hold on a second. Did it land? I guess it landed. This is Troop Trans 535. We have collected the package. Get us out of here, Colonel. There we go. Mission complete. Hey. Yeah, I'm doing keyboard controls on this next. It actually works pretty well. Yeah, if you ever do play this next, do yourself a favor and delete the AC3 folder. And then also like all the AC3 files in like the main directory. For whatever reason, whatever configuration preset volumes they have set up makes the cutscenes really really uh, quiet and if you delete those files and move that folder well delete you can delete the files and the folder uh, it'll restore the uh, default volume which is much better uh, let's fly back Ooh, look what I see. oh more guys okay I got you AC3, yeah, the volume was low the other day. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was even worse on some of the other cutscenes. Like I could barely hear it. And I had it maxed out. Am I missing? Why am I missing so much? No, maniac, you're not gonna steal my kill. I want all these kills. Yeah, I think Wing Commander 3 and 4 both came out on the PlayStation. Alright. We can land. Need clearance. 
extraction successful, Colonel. We're on our way out of the system. Oh. That's that's it with the tier uh, the tier system. Is this? He looks bored. <laughs> he just has that face. <laughs> Captain Hugh Paulson attached to the Third Fleet with orders from Regional Command. Welcome aboard, Captain. They must be important orders indeed for you to personally carry them so far. All Confederation orders are important, Captain. The Lexington is to head immediately to the Massa system where we will rendezvous with the Third Fleet. I'll inform my helm. You will be filling me in on Confed's orders. Oh, we have much to discuss. In private, Captain? Uh, perhaps we'd better adjourn to my cabin. I recognize this actor from somewhere. Uh, Captain Eisen, or Commander Eisen, I think his name. He, uh, he was the other... He was the other judge in Night Court. The Massa system. But he was also the judge in Liar Liar as well. Which I haven't seen Liar Liar in quite some time. Colonel Blair, report to the briefing room. Message from Confed HQ. Confed HQ. Oh man, Night Court. I have to pull that up, that theme song. Not yeah, it had a... Uh... Ah, uh, the bald guy's name. Bull? I think he was Bull, his character's name was. Yeah, dude, I love Night Court. It was such a funny show. Alright, now we're in the Massa system. Massa system. Bull, Rod. Yeah, John Larroquette. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I remember as a kid not really understanding, you know, law or the court system, but it was just a funny, it was just a funny show. Judge Harry, yeah. Didn't some rapper rhyme over the Night Court theme for a remix? I feel like the actor who played Bull did a rap song. Maybe I'm misremembering. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. That show was pretty damn popular. Uh, let's go talk to the pilots. Hey, I just caught a peek at that bioconvergence chemist. We sprung from tier seven. Oh, I know what? Bioconvergence. Try downloading a science update once in a while. Well, since when are you, Mr. Wizard? Hey, I don't just rest on my laurels like some people I know. Anyway, now I know why they were turning the border worlds upside down looking for this egghead. We are talking... Fine. Thought you weren't interested in any woman with an IQ higher than a wingnut. Oh, au contraire, mon frère. Eh? Didn't think I knew that stuff, right? Hey, Maniac does what he has to do. <laughs> okay, tonight, I'm boning up on my periodic table of elements. If you know what I mean. So what, you figure her recent trauma makes her that desperate, huh? It's not unheard of to show a little appreciation to your liberator. <laughs> this guy's good, Colonel. The best. You never show any mercy, do you? You know, I seek only to instruct. The youth seeks wisdom and experience. <laughs> so what do you think about the new brass that just came aboard? Oh, uh, Paulson? Too many cooks in the kitchen. Always trouble. 
Kid asked too many questions. Uh, kid asked too many questions. Hooty hoo! Hey, bass, how are you? They sampled a track with Big Pun, Wyclef John, and Charlie Baltimore. They used to have Mel Torme to cameo on the show. Why did that name sound so familiar? Good times. Good beat. I'm sure it would dub well. Mel Torme. Yeah, make like a tree and get the hell out of here. Classic Biff. If I were you, I'd worry more about losing my shirt to Vagabond and less about who's on board. Yeah. Here's a chip, kid. Go buy yourself a new ass. <laughs> Anybody? I'm kidding. Oh. You know what? Maniac, he I've come around on Maniac. He used to be super annoying, but he's actually pretty damn funny. <laughs> Drinks. Just kidding. Yep, he's my new favorite character. Sorry, Mark Hamill. Mel Torme, hold on, I gotta look this up. That's gonna drive me. I know who that is, right? Do I know him? Why does that why does it sound so familiar? Yeah, weird. Mel Torme was a jazz singer, used to do movies and stuff at Frank Sinatra, if anyone's interested. Gotcha. Okay. The Velvet Fog. Mm. Will we be joined by the captain, sir? Captain Eisen has been assigned to other duties, Colonel. Orders from Confed. But he's still in command of the ship. His new obligations will not allow him to continue his previous functions. I now command this vessel. Any problems with that? Has the captain been in any way derelict? I'm not at liberty to discuss personal decisions, Colonel. Time grows short. We have a mission ahead of us. The Border World's militia has brazenly hijacked a key military space lab in this system. You'll go in first to soften up the surrounding defenses. Marine transport from our fleet will then move in and take control of the lab. Cover that transport until you receive an all-clear. It's absolutely vital that we wrest that lab back from these marauders. We can accept nothing less than total success. I'm confident you will not let the Confederation down, Colonel. Dismissed. I'm curious how the kill Rathi, like what part do they play in this? Like we decimated their home world. Like, do they... I'm, I'm assuming they show up at some point, right? It's not Wing Commander without the Kilrathi. But right now we're just fighting these lame border world rebels. What time is it? Uh, I think we got time. Let's do another mission. Destroy the lab. Space lab defenses so the assault transport can dock with the space lab. Once the assault force has been inserted, defend the transport until the space lab has been captured. Cool, I can do that. Autopilot over. Big time enemy presence, eh? Break off an attack. Break formation and open fire. Gonna give him some maniac magic. <laughs> Dude, he is so quick. Look how fast he's destroying this guy. Oh, he didn't destroy it. Okay, never. This is missile. There we go. your fault, maniac. Got right in the way. Let's just missile. Get in there. Thanks for clearing us path, Colonel. Moving in. 
All right, let this transport get in there. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. We're getting attacked. Maniac's better than Slippy. Slippy gets no respect. Alright. Where's this damn transport? That it? And that was a weird audio glitch. Yeah, that's a transport. Okay. So we're just waiting. Back it up. Ready to strut my stuff. Oh, more guys. Missiles out. Ah! Missiles out. Just wait. I think we're just waiting. Oh, okay, so it's not an audio glitch, it's the track looping. It's just a really bad loop. Where's this other ship at? I saw him just a second ago. I don't want to leave until... Maybe we're supposed to leave? After it's landed? I don't get it. How long before you think they reboot Back to the Future? Never. I hope they never reboot Back to the Future. Like, the original movie is so good, there'd be- there's just, like, no reason. There's no reason to. Uh, maybe we can just leave. Maybe we can leave? Oh, autopilot not allowed. Okay. Maybe I gotta talk to the space lab? No. This tin can's all ours, Colonel. There we go. We'll okay. Cool. Mission complete. Hey. Now we can leave. Got it. So if you don't know if the mission's complete, try to do autopilot. It won't let you leave. I need clearance. Captain Paulson passes on his congratulations. You have clearance. Paulson's kind of a jerk. Who? Do not want to hit ceiling. Who is this? Oh, the new scientist. There, go ahead, maniac. Take your shot. Slick. Good evening. Welcome to the TCN Nightly News. I'm Barbara Miles. I wonder how many takes they had to do for that. We 
regarding the escalating tensions between the frontier worlds and the Confederation. <laughs> He's acting so good. The Union of Border Worlds, as they now call themselves, indicate they remain at peace with the Confederation, but the Confed bylaws and constitution no longer govern them. In response, the Great Assembly has decreed that Border Worlds <laughs> can no longer operate Checking in his nose. territory unless under military escort. We go now live to Admiral Jeffrey Tolwyn at Confed HQ. Admiral. Hello, Barbara. Good evening, everyone. Uh, for weeks now, we've been experiencing an increasing harassment of legitimate Confed space operations. I'm afraid innocent people are being murdered and chaos is the result. Until we bring these perpetrators to justice, I'm afraid we must monitor all traffic flying under a different flag. Admiral. Can the Union of Border Worlds and the Confederation come to terms? Well, Barbara, what other choice do we have? Thank you, Admiral. <laughs> Thank you. Next up, the scores for the Galactic Cricket Cup. The budget really reminds me of Babylon 5. I get some serious Babylon 5 vibes from this. Babylon 5 wasn't quite this low budget, but like it it wasn't it was no Star Trek. Let's talk to Vagabond and Mediac. Tolwin's right. Confed has to do whatever it takes to maintain order, otherwise you got everybody going off half cocked. The border worlds have been dumped on ever since the war ended. This required chaperoning is just gonna turn up the heat. That affect your lucky stars that ain't the Kalrathi bossing them around. Look, a lot of people think it was the border worlds who kept us in the war long enough for the colonel here to lower the boom. Your farm's in the field, real close to the border worlds. You think they should be forced to fly under escort? Um. Confed's abusing their authority. Yeah. It's a big galaxy. People are bound to have different goals. Look, Confed had to maintain control for 40 years. They're having a hard time letting go. You've seen Captain Nyson? Laying low. I don't blame him. Let's see if we can talk to the captain. <clears throat> Enter. Ah, Colonel. Good to see you. Well, guess now you'll have more time to answer your mail. Captain Paulson said something about new orders. I'm awaiting a transfer. That's the extent of my orders. Oh, come on, sir. Someone's going to wake up and rescind this decision. Confed's a different place today. Running a spaceship is a different job than it used to be. Who knows? Maybe they're doing me a huge favor. Now, I appreciate your concern, Colonel. Tell the crew the old man is looking forward to new challenges. Yes, sir. Hmm. All right. Uh, it is seven o'clock, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up the stream for now. Save it. Four twenty-one. Seven o'clock. I think it was our sixth mission, and we're still in the massa system. Yeah, this is like, it's, this game aged very well. I mean, I guess maybe because it's a uh, uh, an actual Windows game. <laughs> so you don't have to deal with all the trials and tribulations and configuration challenges of DOSBox. But yeah, it plays really well. The video is much improved over Wing Commander 3 and the controls are just actually pretty tight. Yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. I'll be back on next Tuesday at around 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Let's uh, let's find someone to raid. Thanks for the stream. Have a good evening. Yep. See you later, Lucidius. Thanks for hanging out, man. Good night. Have a good one, Nick. I'll catch you on your uh, on your next stream. Uh, oh, I'm so used to having the app.
Who's on? Uh, Camellio's playing Battletech. Let's shoot him a raid. I can spell his name right. RGJ. There we go. All right, everyone. Have a good weekend. I will see you next week or on other channels.